all right guys so today we'll quickly be looking at um difference between a subdomain name and a subdirectory and also we'll be looking at what it takes to set up a subdirectory from your website hi i'm olushala daniel so let's go through this process quickly so the first thing we'll be looking at is the difference between a subdomain name and a subdirectory although our major focus is on setting up a subdirectory from your website but before we get there we need to look at the difference between a subdomain name and a subdirectory now um a subdomain name and a subdirectory has really been a topic of um discussion and um should i say an element of confusion among website buyers and um small businesses that, that, that use website for their business so we are quickly going to look at what it um, means and what a domain name means and what a subdirectory means as a part of um, a primary website so now we'll be looking at a subdomain so as it says here a subdomain can simply simply be explained as a domain name under another primary domain name simply take for example now we have um, a website like um my shoe.com that's a domain name now a subdomain for such domain name could be um shop.myshoe.com so the shop is the subdomain name my shoe.com is the domain name so the subdomain name is part of a domain name itself it's just like um um a domain name under another domain name a domain name under and under another domain name so subdomain name as a domain name itself is attached to another um, domain name so and it has its own um, user backend that's backend office to edit it has everything um, a domain name has it's independent on its own but despite the independence it's still attached to a primary domain so let's go further a subdomain can simply be explained as a domain name under another primary domain name that is there is a primary domain then a secondary domain is attached to that primary domain like i explained earlier so um for a subdomain name you have to purchase it you buy it like you buy um a domain name so you buy it like you buy a domain name so you purchase like it says here you purchase this domain name like you purchase it you purchase a subdomain name sorry like you purchase a normal domain name so it's something you buy from your um whatever um hosting company you are using so you buy it you attach it to your domain name so and it's usually used um um by big uh, big organizations to organize to organize um activities in the organization like for example say um an organization have a marketing department so say um let's say um um deluxe.com so the marketing department could be marketing.deluxe.com so that subdomain name is a website on its own that will be managing the marketing aspects of that company so i hope it's something very clear now let, let's look at the examples we have here we have um for a domain name we have an example like digitalsolutions.com so for a domain name like this we can have a subdomain name like support.digitalsolutions.com like we can see here as well a domain name like tutorial.com we can have a subdomain name like article.tutorial.com like this this is a domain name shimlex.com we can have a subdomain name like blog.shimlex.com so let's let's now look at um a subdirectory so now it says a subdirectory is a root part under a domain name simply say a folder inside the primary folder so now let me just explain quickly a subdirectory is also part of a website it's a part of a website but the major difference between a subdomain and a subdirectory number one is that a subdomain name is paid for a subdirectory is free you create it for free as a part of your website and another difference between them both is for a subdirectory now you usually have the link um the the subdirectory you create as part of your website you usually have it after your domain name 
but for a subdomain it usually comes before the domain name let's take for example here now um look at this for example domain name like digitalsolutions.com could have a subdirectory like digitalsolutions.com slash support as we can see here as well tutorial.com as a domain name it can have a subdirectory like tutorial.com slash article shimless.com could have a subdirectory like shimless.com slash blog so now you notice that a subdomain a subdomain name would always come before as you can see here as you can see here now a subdirectory would always come after and most of the times people mistake a subdirectory for um a website page because it's always coming after the um the domain name so so um a subdirectory like i was explaining as you can see the subdirectory will come after the domain name compared to the subdomain which would always come before the domain name like article dot dot tutorial dot com the article here is the subdomain the tutorial dot com is the domain name so subdomain before domain name in the case of a subdirectory is usually after tutorial dot com slash article domain name before the subdirectory so as simple as that and remember subdirectory is usually very free to create to create from your website unlike domain name which is paid you have to buy it and it has to be attached to your domain name so now let's just go further into um how to set up a subdirectory from your website so to create your subdirectory the very first thing you have to do is to log into your cpanel and um for me i'm using namecheap and for you i don't know which um hosting company you're using so just find a way to locate your cpanel so let's go straight to um cpanel so once you get to your cpanel you search for softaculous app you can come right up here search for softaculous this is it you click on it this way so aha uh -huh. so once it loads like this you click on um wordpress wordpress is a script you use to build a website so i want to believe you already have a website because if you don't have a website you won't be able to create any subdirectory so i assume you already have a website so now to create a subdirectory we've already gained access into cpanel and we've been able to um click on softaculous to get to this environment that we are right now the softaculous app installer environment now when we are installing our subdirectory using wordpress scripts and i want to believe you already have a website you already have a domain name that you have purchased and you already have um wordpress installed on that domain name so now we are installing a subdirectory from your website now the first thing you do here now is to click on on this wordpress you click on install this way now once it loads all these details make sure you fill them in so to create the subdirectory you come here what you need the most is what you need most is this um in directory this dialog box here as for me this is my domain name here this is my domain name ulushaladaniel.com this is um the dialog box where i'll be typing or imputing um the subdirectory that i want it has to be in form of name it could be shop so then it's going to be ulushaladaniel.com slash shop the shop would be a subdirectory but it will look like a website on its own because it would have a back end where i can build the website do whatever i like so your own could be hairdo or could be property yeah could be um ebook so whatever it is you want to do whatever subdirectory you want to create just type it here so in this case 
I'll be using um let me look. so in this mine case I'll be using store so my domain name is Olushola Daniel the subdirectory I'm creating is store then it's going to look like this Olushola Daniel dot com slash store which would stand at a website on its own it's independent um from this Olushola Daniel so Olushola Daniel is a website on its own Olushola Daniel dot com is a directory that looks like a website on its own because it is completely independent from your domain so now after imputing the subdirectory that you want you scroll down the site name whatever name you want to give your site you put it here then the admin username um you can make this admin as simple as that um or probably you can make it your name so you don't forget you can make it your name so you don't forget and very important your password must be alphanumeric with sign alphanumeric with sign so i'll be imputing my password i'll have to pause the video at the point to do that so you come here site description whatever it is you are using the site for you fill it in here so um the admin email i would advise you leave this i would advise you leave your admin email as admin at whatever your domain name is dot com so now the next thing you want to do is check this classic editor so it can be installed alongside um your subdirectory so as you install the word wordpress the classic editor would be installed as well it's a plugin you need it so once you are done with that you scroll down you scroll down then come to this email installation detail the essence of this is to receive um um what, what do i call it like installation information the wordpress installation we are doing for this subdirectory creation now will be sent to, to this email you impute here so you can put your own personal email which is probably your gmail account your yahoo mail account and this um kind of dialog box or this kind of um, information is also useful if you are creating um or building a website for a company so this the company might um require their login detail for the website you are creating for them so once you just impute their email address here they'll be able to have access to the um to the information so whatever information they need they'll be able to have access to it the login information most specifically so now i'll be pausing the video to impute the necessary details especially my password i wouldn't like to share that so another important thing here is if you are creating your password as you can see it here strength indicator as you type you see the strength yeah 18 over 100 so you need to get to a minimum of 85 and for you to be able to achieve that your password has to be a combination of a capital letter small letter a number and um a sign like hearts underscore and um other signs so it has to be at least minimum of 85 before they can accept your installation so so we are back guys um i have my details filled already filled out the site name shop mats site description quality at its peak um yours can be different so um like i said earlier the admin username should be your name it should be your name your name very very important so classic editor field and um every other detailed details have been filled the email installation details impute your own personal gmail or your yahoo mail to receive the installation information which would um, include the login details and some other things you need so once you're done you smash on the install button just like that so just click on the installation button once you're done you can go over it again and be, to be sure 
um you're doing the right thing go over it to be sure you're doing the right thing um yeah yep 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 i think we're good to go let me how they even like to change my sub directory to shop mats yeah i think i love this shop mats is good shop mats shop mats so so once you're done guys just smash on the installation button like i said earlier this and very important you have to wait till it installs 100 percent no interruption just have to wait and it doesn't take time as you can see we're done installing our sub directory so this year this link here is your front end link like your web address your website address where people would be able to access your website so this particular one yeah so as you can see it has the subdirectory um name which is shop mats the domain name slash the subdirectory now the administrative url is the back end url your your, your website back end url url enables you to be able to uh, edit your website your website content so this is where you gain access to wordpress dashboard to do so many things install plugins and be able to manage your website as a whole so now what i would advise is rather than clicking on this link to go straight to your wordpress dashboard i would advise you open a new tab and log in with the login details you created while installing the wordpress while installing wordpress for your subdirectory so because we've had cases where people click on this link directly and after some time they forget the password the username and they were not able to log in so for you to confirm the username you imputed and the password i would advise you open um wordpress login page and you log in with the necessary details which you have imputed while installing the wordpress for the subdirectory so open a new tab this way open a new tab go to you type your domain name slash the subdirectory which is as in this our own case which is shop mats shop mats slash simply admin or use wp hyphen admin enter so as you can see this is the wordpress um login page so now you impute the username you created earlier with the password with the password very important then you log in as you can see we already have access to our website backend now the end result now is creating a subdirectory from our website now the subdirectory is the shop mats our website is the domain name.com which in this case mine is solutionaladaniel.com so we've been able to achieve the objective here which is creating a subdirectory from your website now you can go further installing necessary plugins um we should enable you to edit your website content most importantly elementor plugin elementor plugin or you can call it elementor page builder so so far so good guys we've been able to achieve 100 percent of our objective in this video so let me go a bit further oh i'm being signed out let me sign in back let me go a bit further to install 
so guys we'll be installing in the very important um plugin to build um our website which is elemental page builder although we are done with this video we've achieved our object objective so far which is create subdirectory from our websites like i said earlier so but i can go a bit further showing us the necessary plugins we are going to need to build our website especially an e-commerce website so um you go to plugins you had plugins then you come right down here type elemental elemental mm, typo error here elemental elemental it's coming up this is it right here elemental website builder so what you do next is click on the install now button we are coming back to install this as well essential add-ons for elemental so once installed activate activate it activate it so wait till it activates um so yeah you can just go back close it we don't need that now so now let's check now we already have an elemental installed as you can see here and activated so now we are installing more plugins like i showed you earlier we are installing essential add-ons for elemental very important as well essential add-ons very very important okay we have it here install now and activate install now and activate another important thing you should do is installing a team on your website it depends on your tastes it depends on the objective of your website either for e-commerce for real estate for skincare products whatever it is just come here click on hard new hard new so as you can see these are the pops we have um free we have um paid but just check whichever one suits it so after installing the team you should be able to see templates for the particular team you installed for example i would have preferred to install this as trabots i don't want to make i don't have any intention of making this video any longer than this so that's all guys that's all and i hope you've been able to um get something out of this tutorial out of this video i'm very sure you have you have so we've been able to cover the areas of um the difference between a subdomain name and a directory as well as um being able to walk through the process of creating a subdirectory from your website so thanks guys that will be the end of the video today i'll be coming back to drop um other videos other tutorial videos that will be very helpful to our businesses and um uh our uh um to the success of our business online so thank you guys